Community members in Kego Harbor racing against the clock to save a 103 year old school from a wrecking ball. Today they held a protest outside the school aimed at getting their message across to the public and to the West Bloomfield School District. 7 Action News reporter Tira Braddock has more on why community members say the school is worth saving. Kego Harbor residents were outside of Roosevelt Elementary on Cass Lake Road protesting the demolition of the school, which could happen as early as next month. Our city of Kego Harbor is so, so small. And so it's just, again, having, I don't want a field, a five acre field in the middle of my city. Kirsten Douglas was one of the people protesting on Sunday. Her son went to Roosevelt before it closed two years ago after a ceiling collapse in the building. They moved our students over to um, what's now the Abbott Roosevelt and then they decided that they wanted to demolish this beautiful historical building. Back in October, the West Bloomfield School District told 7 Action News in a statement that the district made extensive efforts to engage with the community throughout this process, holding five input feedback sessions. This was not an easy recommendation to make, and we understand the emotions surrounding the decision. The statement went on to say, maintaining it is not a safe or financially responsible choice. This decision has been under Discussion for over a decade. We have people who have developers who have actually offered to purchase the building and repurpose it, which would help the community as well as the school district. And it's not just parents fighting to save the school from the wrecking ball. We all are doing this out of the passion of saving this historic building that's so critical to our to our community. David Emerly is a member of the Kego Harbor Planning Commission. One of the school board members was really quick to point out that they have no strategic vision of what to do with this land. So why would you knock a building down when you have no plan? Community members were dressed in hazmat suits during the protest. Here's why. The school district proposed um, the demolition and opened or gave the bids for the abatement. And our real concern, hence why we're out here today, is that one of the abatement companies has Myosha violations. And that's terrifying for our district, especially being so close to our waterways. I reached out to the West Bloomfield School District, but they weren't available for comment on Sunday. Community members who were at the protest say they plan on being at the March 18th West Bloomfield School District board meeting to make their case about why the school should be saved. In Keogh Harbor, Tierra Braddock, 7 Action News.